Hi, everybody. Welcome. I hope wherever you are, you are snug and roasting. I am freezing. I can only surmise that it is old age because I swear I was not even as cold in Canada in January. Anyway, let's talk royals. And what shall we talk about but trooping the color? No, we have to talk trooping. We have to. I think it was spectacular and I think it was even more so because there is so much going on behind the scenes and because so much has changed since last year. I know and I saw that the media is 90% about Catherine and make no mistake, I was sitting on the edge of my seat waiting for her to appear And when she did step out of that carriage with the three children, I felt a little emotional. But the day was about Charles, the king. And for some reason, I felt more tuned into him. Don't ask me why. It just is what it is. (laughs) Right off the bat, I think he looked rather frail. And at the same time, he looked determined and utterly stubborn. This is the second time Camilla looked rather angry or upset in the last few weeks. She looked really upset in Normandy and yesterday was no different. The way she looked and the way she took her shawl and threw it over her shoulder when the wind blew it and moved it, her entire body language showed frustration, anger, with a hint of sadness, in my opinion. And I think it is all aimed at the king. I'm almost 99% sure she was upset about him standing too long in the cold and bad weather. And I would not even want to see her face when he got out of the coach and took the salute in the rain. Even I was a little upset and thinking, what is the man doing? Does he have a death wish? Does he want pneumonia on top of his cancer treatment? Honestly, guys, we knew midweek already that the weather was likely to be foul. So couldn't the organizers have organized a canopy for that glass box? Really? Look, I love it when a monarch or prime minister or president return a salute because I hate it when they just walk past without returning the salute, even if the dignitary is a woman. I think it is awful and disrespectful. So yes, I loved the fact that Charles stood and returned every salute even got out of the carriage and saluted as the regiments filed past on their way out. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And for me personally, it was one of the most emotional and touching moments of the entire event. And I actually cannot understand that the media did not make more of it. For once in my entire lifetime, I felt Charles deserved more, more attention and more respect. Someone else whom I thought deserved more attention and respect was Prince Edward. Prince Edward wore his thistle sash and usually the wearer would choose the most senior order they had, but he can also wear one that is perhaps more relevant to the event, which is likely what Edward chose to do. Edward was appointed to the Order of the Thistle in March this year. His wife Sophie looked splendid in yellow and Lady Louise lovely in one of my favourite rewears. Someone else I did not hear mentioned was Princess Anne. We tend to forget that she's also well into her 70s. And there she is, still on horseback in the rain. The woman deserves a standing ovation, never mind a mere mention. Of course, I was happy to see Catherine, and although thin, she looks well, better than I expected. 
I noticed her touching her stomach once or twice, so obviously there's still a measure of discomfort, but her beautiful dimpled smile is still there. I watched the children a bit more intensely yesterday. Louis is clearly Louis, and obviously it's necessary, but, you know, sometimes I almost feel that it is a shame that he has to be disciplined and tamed. <laughs> He's really a busy young man and I loved the little dance display he gave us. George is clearly trying to please his father and obviously now slowly being told and introduced to his future role. I personally think the two boys will be just fine. I think George will be the more serious, studious one, and Louis, the adventurer. I think he'll be the one to take over Earthshot and travel Africa and the Australian outback, etc. <laughs> if those kids were family, my concern would have been for Charlotte. She's a little teeny weeny bit too bossy, too precocious for her age, in my opinion. And then she is pretty to boot. <laughs> Oy vey. Daddy better appoint a few more bodyguards for his pretty headstrong daughter and not wait too long. I think she's going to need more than one minder. Now, before I mention the joke of 2024, let me just say that I wish Catherine, the Princess of Wales, everything of the best. I really hope she takes things easy and recover more or fully before venturing back. She completed the picture at Trooping on Saturday. The royal family and even the handsome William on his own is just not the same without her. But I would rather know that she's healthy, safe and not in any pain or suffering any discomfort than to satisfy my own curiosity. I think Catherine is one of those rare people who are nice and good inside and out. So I truly feel she deserves more than having to play to the public. I'm sure she decided to attend more for her family than for us. But hopefully she will rest now for a while and forget about us until she feels strong and healthy enough to step forward again. Okay, and now my dears, for the joke of the year. That strange, childish, rather nutty creature Harry is married to really honestly and truly thought she could take the attention away from the King Catherine and William by releasing her next product, <laughs> dog biscuits. <laughs> I honestly could not help but laugh. Dog biscuits, D-O-G, biscuits. Not a grand perfume, not a stunning um, perfumed candle or a snazzy piece of jewellery, folks. No, 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 dog biscuits, which she likely bought on Timu and dumped in a glass bottle, which you can buy anywhere. I can actually go buy a bottle just like that one tomorrow and show it to you. And again, labeled with her supposed calligraphy, again, no ingredients, and you know, a dog can be allergic too. I know, because my Haley is indeed allergic to certain foods, and then she gets dermatitis because of it. But no label, no ingredients on that bottle of dog biscuits, nothing. So the entire setup look Put together by Doria while on a high, in other words, cheap and common. I have a prettier dog tree container which we bought because we had to make up a certain amount on an online order to get free delivery. And honestly, it's so cute and much, much prettier than that silly common bottle. 
honestly, the woman has no class, no style, and no clue. <laughs> okay, guys, and on that note, I bid you goodbye. Please, before I forget, please hop on over to my other channel where I posted a video on the third anniversary of the Summer Wells disappearance. Although I tend to get a little frustrated with that case, I think it ended in being one of my better videos on that channel. So if you have followed the Summer Wells saga, I would love to hear your opinion on what I had to say. Okay, and now I am really going to wish you well and ask you to take good care of yourselves until we meet on the next one. Bye.